All right, joining us now to dig further into the story is Crux editor John Allen. He joins us from Rome. John, thank you so much for being with us. As you've heard, we have reported on what we know so far about this troubling story. There are divisions within the Catholic Church. How severe are they and how should they be addressed? Well, look, I mean, I think there are two things that are clearly true about this remarkable story uh, involving accusations from Archbishop Digano, the Pope's former ambassador in the States, that Pope Francis knew about and covered up uh, allegations against Cardinal McCarrick. Two things. One, uh, there is a clear political division that is being revealed in how people are reacting to this. I mean, basically, if you look at the statements that U.S. bishops have put out and other players in the Catholic Church, you know, it's obvious that the more liberal you are, the more inclined you are to disregard these allegations, and the more conservative you are, uh, the more you are inclined to take them seriously. And it's an unfortunate fact that, you know, in some ways, a question about proper governance, that is, uh, showing resolve in the response to the sexual abuse uh, of anyone, but most especially children in the Catholic Church, which ought not to be about politics. Uh, that issue in this case clearly seems to have been hijacked, at least in terms of how people are reacting to it, by those political divisions. The other point is that none of this has absolutely anything to do with the factual question at the heart of this story. Uh, which really now boils down to what the Pope knew and, he, and when he knew it. Uh, Archbishop Vigano is suggesting that as of June 2013, Pope Francis was aware both that there were concerns about misconduct uh, by Cardinal McCarrick and also that he had been subject to sanctions under Pope Benedict XVI, and he disregarded that. Now, I don't care whether you're a liberal or conservative. That is a factual claim. Mm -hmm. uh, what has to happen now uh, is that, uh, you know, aggressive reporting has to unfold to find out if we can get to the heart of that matter. And at the same time, uh, I would also say that anyone who is in possession of information that might bear on this one way or the other, whether that's the Vatican or the papal embassy in Washington or the U.S. Bishops Conference or anyone else, uh, you know, I think they are obligated to come forward and tell us what they know, because if Catholics around the world cannot have confidence that their pope won't cover up accusations of sex abuse, and I'm not sure how we ever go forward on this issue. So is there any substance to the claim that the Holy Father lifted sanctions against McCarrick that Pope Benedict imposed? Well, I, you know, that, that's a task for reporting and for disclosure, uh, I would say, to, to, to stand up to. I mean, at this stage, uh, you know, at Crux, we do have information uh, that we are still scrambling to confirm uh, that there was some kind of uh, discipline imposed uh, under Pope Benedict XVI. But as I say, we are not yet in a position to confirm that. It is a form of sort of secondhand accounts. I mean, I, I take on board what the Pope said on the papal plane on the way back from Ireland Sunday night. You know, he said, uh, you know, reporters do your job. That it, I think that's what we're all trying to do. The Pope has tried to combat the clerical sex abuse crisis in a number of ways, as you know and as you reported. Will his efforts suffer a setback because of what Vigano has written? Well, I think this clearly, until it is cleared up, uh, it obviously raises real questions uh, about the Pope's commitment to zero tolerance uh, on the sex abuse issue. As you say, he has tried to take many reform measures. On the other hand, critics would say that some of those measures have been ineffective or half-hearted. Um, you know, what, what I would actually like, Liz, uh, is for us to be able to get to the factual heart of the matter here. Mm -hmm. So that we can return to what is really the more important debate, which is what remains to be done for the Catholic Church to be able to credibly assure people that their children are safe in this environment and that anyone who jeopardizes the safety of those children, whether it's by abusing them or covering it up, will be subject to swift and sure punishment. I mean, that really is the $64,000 question here, and to some extent, it's going to be difficult for Pope Francis to answer that question uh, until these other question marks about his personal record are resolved. All right, John, thank you so much. We have to leave it there. Thank you for joining us. You bet.